What is a healthcare power of attorney? My name is Andrew Ayers. I'm an attorney with offices in Edina, Minnesota and New York City. And today we're gonna to talk about one of the most important documents in your estate plan, a healthcare power of attorney. Now, when most people think about an estate plan, they first think about their will. And that truly is the main document. And what that document does is it says what happens to your things after you're gone. If you have children, it has guardianship provisions, and if they're under 18, it also will usually have a trustee provision. But that isn't the only document you should be looking at in your estate plan. For times before you're actually deceased, we use things called powers of attorney. And there's two main types. There's a financial and there's a healthcare power of attorney. So both of these documents are effective when something happens to you and you become incapacitated. So let's say you're in a car accident and you're in a coma and you can't speak for yourself. That financial power of attorney, that'll help somebody manage your financial affairs. We are going to talk about the healthcare power of attorney. So the healthcare power of attorney will also nominate somebody to take care of your big medical decisions. It's going to have a list of the different medical powers that you're going to grant to them. It tends to be a more in-depth document than just a checklist of powers. And in fact, your state probably has something called a healthcare directive on its website. This is, however, where I suggest that you definitely talk to an attorney. They're healthcare decisions that are going to be made when you're unable to speak for yourself, and you want to make sure your document is tailored to you and that your decisions are as specific as possible. So a lot of my clients will ask me, what's in a healthcare power of attorney? What kind of decisions are in there? Well, the first thing we're going to do is identify the agents who are going to speak for you. And we want to have their name and their address and their telephone number so that if the doctors need to find them to speak to them, they know how to contact them. Your healthcare power of attorney will also provide access to your medical records. I still recommend a standalone HIPAA authorization to go with this document, but your healthcare power of attorney will also have that provision. It will have decisions regarding long-term or hospice care. So if it looks like your injury is a long-term disability that you're not going to be able to come back from for a while, do we want to put you in hospice care or a long-term facility? There'll be decisions regarding whether to keep you in your home if you're sick. So some people prefer to stay in their house, others would prefer to be in a medical facility. There's also a decision that's a little controversial among married spouses, and that's whether or not you give your healthcare agent the power to commit you to a psychiatric facility. We often see these kind of stories in the news when celebrities are committed or have a mental breakdown, but it is effective as well for just everyday folks who are married. And do you need to have a psychiatric provision in yours? It also has provision for the ability for your agent to hire healthcare aides for you. So if you need extra help at home and you're just not in a place to do that yourself, your healthcare agent can employ them for your benefit. It also has situations where you do or do not want pain relief, what kind of medication you want. So let's say you're a recovering addict and you know that you don't want certain kinds of drugs in your system. These are the kinds of things you want to specify in your healthcare power of attorney. For after you're gone, the healthcare power of attorney will also offer the power to do an autopsy and what to do with your remains, whether to be buried or cremated. Now you should know that the burial versus cremation is also normally going to be in your will itself, but that power to have an autopsy done can be very important if there's any questions about your care when you were in a hospital. The healthcare power of attorney also has an important provision for your agent, which allows them to be reimbursed for what they do on your behalf. You don't want them to have to pay for medical records and pay to transport you and do all these things, but not get reimbursed. It can also be used in any state, which is why you don't necessarily want a state form. So if you're in one state and move to another, a state specific form may not be honored in the other state. However, a generalized healthcare power of attorney is usually portable across state lines. And you have to also have to remember that you can revoke this at any time. So if you appoint your spouse, for example, and you go through a divorce, you don't have to keep them as your healthcare power of attorney. You can revoke it and do a new one with somebody else who you'd like to make those decisions for you. When it comes time to sign your healthcare power of attorney, it's signed like a will. So we usually want to have two witnesses and a notary. Now this isn't always required depending what state you're in, but I think it's important to make sure that we have evidence that there's witnesses and a notary there so that any doctor that's looking at it and relying upon it knows that it was signed correctly. We also want you to keep the original with your important documents. So with your will, with your healthcare power of attorney, a living will if you have one, your financial power of attorney, we want all these things to be together. And you should also have copies available to you as part of your attorney's portal. So if you're working with an attorney, they should have an online portal for you 
where you're able to access PDF copies of these records. So if something happens to you, your healthcare agent can access that portal and be able to get the PDF and get it to the doctor so we don't waste time trying to find originals. There's five main mistakes I see when people bring me a healthcare power of attorney that wasn't properly created. The first is people who weren't being clear about their wishes in their healthcare power of attorney. They were given a general document, they didn't really pay attention to the powers, they just signed it. The second is not talking to your agent about your medical wishes. Just because you do the healthcare power of attorney doesn't mean you shouldn't be talking to that agent and say, by the way, you're gonna be appointed of the, as the agent. If this happens to me, here's what I'm thinking. You can definitely talk to them so they have some context. The third is not choosing what powers you wanna to grant to your agent. So you can choose from all the powers, you can choose a few powers, but make sure you are comfortable with the powers you're giving your agent. The fourth is not giving copies of this to your medical providers. Your doctors and your major medical providers you work with, the clinics, should all have a copy of this in their file so that you don't have to go running around and find one if something happens to you. And finally, number five, the most common mistake you see is someone who didn't sign it correctly. Maybe they forgot to get it notarized, they didn't have witnesses, maybe they signed in the wrong place. So you want to make sure you don't fall into one of these five mistakes, which is why you want to work with an attorney on something like this, as opposed to trying to do it yourself. Now, if you don't have a healthcare power of attorney, or if it's time to update yours, you can go to my website, andrewmayers.com. There's a le legal strategy session button on the front page. Click that, you'll be taken to my personal calendar. We can set up a 15 or 20 minute legal strategy session. We can go through your healthcare power of attorney, or if you don't have one, how to create one, and while we're doing that, let's also look at the rest of the documents in your estate plan to make sure you've got the right documents for you and your family.